Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day, and thank you so much for all of the blessings that you've given to us. Lord, I pray that you will be with us during this worship. Please bless it. Please help it to to touch someone's heart. Lord, please speak to me. Amen. Amen. I would like to start by asking you all a question. Um, I don't want you to raise your hands, and I don't want you to say anything out loud. I just want you to think about it. The question is, have you prayed today? For a lot of you, the answer is probably yes. And if it is, then I want to ask you another question. Have you prayed in the last hour? What about the last half an hour? I know for me, prayer is not often a consistent part of my day. I get up in the morning, I pray for my I pray over my breakfast. I bow my head for prayer and worship. But a lot of the times I don't take the time to pray again throughout the day and to um, consistently talk to God. And I was reading um, the devotional Be Like Jesus um, by Ellen White, and I came across a quote about prayer that I want to read to you all. It's on page 33, and it says, Neglect the exercise of prayer or engage in prayer spasmodically. Now and then, as seems convenient, and you lose your hold on God. And I thought it interesting how it said neglect the exercise of prayer or engage in it spasmodically. It's either or. You can um, lose your hold on God by neglecting it altogether or just by simply not engaging in it often enough. And I looked up the word spasmodically in the dictionary, and it says occurring or done in brief, irregular bursts. So it's kind of like you just pray randomly, like, oh, I have this test, let's pray for that. Or, oh, I have this big assignment to do, let me pray for that. Or my friend just got sick. And it's not um, a consistent communion with God all day. And um, constant prayer is something that not only connects us to God, but helps us to see evidences of his love and to see that he's answering our prayers. And I've seen this a lot in my life over the past couple summers when I would go canvassing. Canvassing is like a day of talking to God throughout the whole day because you get out into the field and you're by yourself. So the only person you have to talk to is God. And then you also have a prayer partner, someone else in the van that you're praying for and someone else is praying for you. And so throughout the day, when you get into the van um, to go to your next street, the leader will say, hey, why don't you pray for your prayer partner? And for me, that was some of the most powerful times in my day because I would pray and then I would see right after that results happened. I would see my prayer partner get out the books I had prayed for. I would see them um, be able to get out sets or call in a Bible study. And that was a huge blessing to me. Um, so prayer doesn't only just lift us up closer to God, but it also shows us how he works in our lives. And another example comes from my sophomore year of school. And I had a classmate that was not doing so well. She was kind of in some trouble, kind of not really wanting to be there at school. She she wasn't really sure where she was at in her life, and I could tell that she was struggling spiritually. And so I started praying for her, and this wasn't as constant and persevering as I would have liked to, it to be, but I did pray for her um, whenever I thought of it, and I prayed that God would bring her closer to him. And at the end of the semester, well, during the semester, we had a week of prayer, and during that week of prayer was a call, and she decided to get baptized in that call. And mm -hmm. it was such a blessing to see her at the end of the semester, um, just coming out of the pond in a new life with Christ. And the power of prayer is often something that we think, oh, wow, prayer really blessed them. But prayer also blesses you, and prayer is something that um, God's created because it's not only for others, but it also blesses I want to read one more quote. It says, We should accustom ourselves to often lift the thoughts to God in prayer. If the mind wanders, we must bring it back. By persevering effort, habit will eventually make it easy. Through everything we do in our day, we show what's most important to us. If we're not making time for prayer, um, for communion with God, what else are we 